my name's Jen Shaw, I'm from Emerge Cafe. Uh, today we're making a mac and cheese and using up some leftover veggies from the fridge. You just can't go wrong with a mac and cheese. Um, everybody loves it and it's so cheap and easy. Um, it's not overly good for you, but it's, it, once we put in all those veggies, it'll be deliciously nutritious. So we're going to start off by making the white sauce, which is um, the heart of, heart of the mac and cheese. Everyone's a little bit scared to make a white sauce, but it really is easy. You just need a little bit of patience and make sure you've got yourself organised um, so your white sauce doesn't get lumpy. It's just a matter of using butter, flour and some milk. Um, you can use full cream, skinny, doesn't matter too much. So we're just starting off with the butter. Um, some people rub the butter and the flour together first. Um, I just like to just melt the butter until it's um, just melted, not, not sizzling and boiling. So the butter is all melted. We've just got it on a nice low heat. Um, we don't want it to heat up too quickly. We've got some plain flour, just about two or three tablespoons is enough. We'll just mix that through. Just take it off the heat for a minute and we're just making like a bit of a paste out of the flour and the butter. So we've got uh, 250 mils of milk. Um, if you're making a big batch, just double that as you go. So keeping it, just adding the milk slowly and having your whisk ready, always be ready. Just slowly and mixing it as you go. Once you start mixing, don't stop. We've been stirring this for a couple of minutes and it's beautiful and thick, no lumps. Um, once you've got it at a beautiful, thick, custard-like consistency, take it off the heat, make sure you turn your hot plate off. And then we just want to add some cheeses. So I'm going to use um, some grated cheddar and some parmesan. Um, and it's a good way to use up all those little bits and pieces of cheese that are hanging around in the fridge. That's what's great about mac and cheese, using up your leftovers. So we're just going to add about a cup's worth of cheddar and about half a cup's worth of parmesan. So as you stir the cheese through, it'll just melt through. Be beautiful and cheesy. So Sherry's cutting up some veggies and we're using a zucchini and a cauliflower, but you could use whatever you have in your fridge. Carrot, pumpkin, sweet potato, whatever you've got that needs using up, this is the perfect way to put it in. And if you've got kids that won't eat veggies, they might just eat them when it's up in a beautiful creamy cheese sauce. Um, so we've got our macaroni, so we can add our macaroni to the cheese sauce. This is way too much macaroni for this bit, and I'll just mix that one through. So all the macaroni is nice and covered with the sauce. We're just going to add whatever veggies you've got. Um, we've got zucchini and cauliflower, but it really could be anything, anything that you love. So once everything's mixed together, it's ready to put into an oven proof dish. We're using a little takeaway one here today, but you could use uh, any oven proof dish. Um, we just want to scoop it into the bottom of the dish, fill it to the top, make sure it's all nice and even. And I'm just going to top it with a little bit of grated cheese all over. And you could also pop on here some breadcrumbs and some thyme and some mixed herbs if you wanted to make it really pretty and homey. So it's all ready to pop into the oven at about 180 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes or until all that cheese is melted and nice and brown and yummy. You'll start to smell it and that's when it's ready. Um, thank you for watching our video today. If you'd like to make it yourself, make sure you pop a picture in the comments or hashtag the home project so we can find you.